Pioneer Co-op, I guess it's a brand, if I'm not mistaken. My friend from California told me about it. It was a lot of like locally grown and like homemade stuff. And it was like a cute little small grocery store. We got a bunch of snacks and some of their food that they make too. And it's all vegan. Well, they had non-vegan food, but like they had a lot of their homemade vegan. Which is rare. Yeah, like they have homemade like vegan bakery items and like frozen food and stuff. So we're gonna try all that stuff for you guys. If you wanna try it, it's an Iowa City. But since we were impressed with Trader Joe's, I'm hoping that this will be more fun. They didn't have as many crazy snacks, but you know, they had good stuff. Okay, what should we start with? Here's our setup. Basically, what we're doing is we bought a lot of foods that we're gonna do for IE, like I'm a Chamberlain for a day video, so click up there to watch that. That'll be up. But the rest were just random things that we wanted to try to see if they make good food, like their baked goods and their frozen food. Most of this is Emma Chamberlain food, but we're gonna try the snacks and stuff for you guys. Here's Emma Chamberlain food. So the first snack, I just wanted to try something like different than chips and they had a bunch of like weird chip alternative healthy foods there. So this is like a cassava crisp barbecue. I thought it was cool packaging. It's really pretty. It looks like space. Mm -hmm. Barbecue. Yeah, just like barbecue. It looks like a little rice cake to be honest. I forget what it looks like. Those are good. Those are really good. I eat a lot of those. I actually think they're crispier and like fluffier than a chip. It's like, like perfect. Kind of satisfying. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Addicting. I don't know everything about the healthy food, but all I know is like people are obsessed with eating cassava now. Yeah. I get that. Like a nine out of 10. I would go to a nine. Yeah. Like I would actually buy that again. So get these, which is actually, I thought these were going to be bad and I just bought them for the packaging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then here I had to get these because sour cream and onion mm -hmm. is a flavor that I've missed since like I'm eating plant-based. These are sour cream and onion chips, but they're like ancient grain healthy chips, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, it looks the same really? even though it says it's a chip. They're okay, but they're not good. I'd eat them for like I wouldn't choose to buy them like every week. Yeah, like six or seven. I give them seven because there's nothing weird, but it's just mm -hmm. not good. It's like plain. They're kind of good. Which is sad because I thought these would be bad and I was excited for these. Like it always goes that way. This is the Trader Joe's video all over. Oh, yeah. Let's try the popcorn. No cheese. Cheese. I'm excited. Yeah, I like miss cheese popcorn. I haven't had cheese popcorn in forever and it's cheeseless. I really love the packaging. Yeah, that tastes just like processed cheese popcorn when I was a kid. So like it gets you that fix. It's very nostalgic. I like that. Mm -hmm. I missed it. Like skinny pop isn't satisfying sometimes. It's not cheesy. The one I white cheddar pop. popcorn that mom likes. Mm -hmm. I'll insert the bag. It's the black bag with the yellow. Everyone knows what I it is. I really love that shit. It's good. I have this also nine. This is really good. But I will say I was more impressed with these. Well, but these are good. Okay, next we got spicy pump and crackers. Flax crackers, some kind of honestly those are really gross looking. I'm gonna be straight up with you. I'm <laughs> like I'm not a fan of the whole health cake cracker nonsense. It looks like a keto cookie. Yeah, it looks like a keto cookie. <laughs> Cracker bad, hummus good. No. I would never buy those crackers again. Yeah. I'm good I'm a Chamberlain. Why are you eating these crackers? <laughs> okay, we're ripping out chips from high beat now. Hummus on fire. This is really good hummus though. Mm -hmm. I usually hate packaged hummus. I always make it myself. Which, if you want my hummus recipe, comment that. I can do that. <laughs> I don't like spicy, but it's good. That's good hummus. Mm -hmm. I give the hummus like eight. I just like prefer mine. I don't know. I give it nine. I'm picky on hummus. The pesto we're gonna put on the pizza with the sauce and the cheese in a video. We're also gonna do the plums for the Emma Chamberlain video. Next, let's reheat the lasagna. Everyone knows what Cholula tastes like. No one cares. Okay. <laughs> Did it even cook? I'm sure. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll know. 
This is their homemade vegan lasagna. They had a bunch of this kind of stuff. They had like wraps. Sushi. They had a ton of different sandwiches, sandwiches and salads, stuff. Like a bunch of wraps. lunch stuff. But I was like, I had to they try. Like macaroni salad type of things. Vegan lasagna though, I actually think it's really easy and I don't think it's bad. You we should, should make me some and like freeze it. it to me in bulk. <laughs> yeah. We should make the so vegan lasagna for a video. Let's try it. What's in it? Local organic tofu. tofu. Well, that's because we live in the tofu Cash. capital, Iowa. Cashew sauce. Pesto, tomato, mushroom, red bell okay. peppers, parmesan. It's actually pretty good. It's not saucy enough for me though. Like the red sauce needs to be thicker. The cheese is very good. The homemade cashew cream sauce they said is good. The vegan meat is like mushroom and vegetables. That's very good, but yeah. I, it's not saucy enough for me. It needs sauce. But we are from Chicago where the pizza is all sauce. Like whenever I order a pizza, like even a thin crust, I put extra sauce. It's good, just add your sauce, I guess. I wouldn't buy it again though. I'd rather make it myself. It's not good enough unless I'm in a pinch and like craving lasagna and don't yeah. make it. I give it a six out of 10. 10 out of 10 lasagna would be mine. I think we should make lasagna. So good. Yeah, comment below if you want my hummus or my lasagna. It's a vote. Joe's. It's a hummus off, a food off. <laughs> Oh, so I just went to the new Pioneer co-op again the next day, but they suckered me into getting a vegan breakfast burrito, which I could not believe that they had, to be honest, because I always have to make my own. I never find one. So I figured in honor of like the fact that we tried their lasagna and we're trying like the ready-made food, I figured we'd give it a shot and give it a little review. And I also got one of those like healthy pops that I see like all of the YouTubers from like California drink. It's like a probiotic. It's orange, mango, chili, and lime, which are all things I like. I don't know if they go together. I don't know if it's gonna be spicy, but I thought I'd have a drink too on my drive home. Hmm. It's good. I'm glad I have it. Like it'll be good to eat on the ride home and be like easy to eat and it's tasty, but it's not as good as the ones I make. I always say that though. Like it's so, it's so stupid. I don't think it's worth $6. I got it for the experience because I never can find stuff like this. So, I mean, it's not bad. I give it like a seven. It could also be that like, it needs hot sauce. I need the Cholula. <laughs> Ooh, let's pop in this little pop here. See if it's good. What the fuck? <laughs> There's a aftertaste of spice. Like what's going on there? So I don't love the flavor. I guess we'll see if it makes me feel good since it's a probiotic. Hopefully it's good after a night of drinking. Like who knows? I'll cut it back to, to Jess and I eating yesterday since this was just like a random pop review. And yeah, see you guys yesterday. Now this is what we're really excited for. This will be like the tell all if they're good or not. The baked goods. They had like this whole bakery thing with vegan brownies and cakes and donuts. Mm -hmm. So we got two things to try. Okay, let's try the donut. What kind of donut was it? It was like glazed. Oh, should be like that. Look at it. Look like lemony. It looks so good. Yes. Oh, really I was like, I'm gonna buy the pack of frozen ones. <laughs> oh yeah, they even had them like in bulk and frozen instead of buying them individually. No bother, just to guess now. I don't like cake donuts. This is really good. Me either. Yeah. <laughs> Probably could have got the frozen donut. Who's got a big one? But if we got the I'll frozen donut, you could have had them. Guy, yeah, you even have vegan cookie dough that you can buy to eat. Imagine like two well, it? and then you're well, drunk. Eat the cookie dough. Get drunk and go to the new Pioneer Co op and get their baked goods. I'm sure you'll do well there. Even the non dairy ones would probably be good if you like that. You mean the dairy ones? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was nice to know like there's no place that has like vegan donuts like now I don't need to go to a donut shop like I oh. could just go there. Oh, it's like a tailgate with like all oh, the I'm about to make a thing burgers and you're sitting there like mm. So it's the donut a 10. It's a 10. I think we should bring one to Denny and not tell them it's vegan. And then they had an oatmeal cookie and a chocolate chip cookie. We got chocolate chips, so we'll see. Mine was like a cookie that. from like, it was like bigger McDonald's cookies. It's a very big cookie. I gotta say that was too much sweets for me though from the donut already. Yeah, that was good. Fill a cookie, I can't finish a cookie. Mm. <laughs> Not my preference. I like a fluffier cookie. It's really dense. So I say maybe like eight. Yeah. I think it's too like dense and flat. It just kind of tastes like a store bought. Yeah, we need salt now. The rest of the stuff, we just got like basics like the pizza, the donuts, the cookies, and the donut. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a seven. 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 Yeah, I'm g
freaking data cheese is as basic as it gets. They have a lot of cool brands there though. Like they had bulk bins. Like I definitely want to go there and use the bulk bins. And they had like different brands for like noodles and stuff that like you wouldn't normally have. So there's like some healthy options there. And I think they even have some of their own brand of stuff. So that was all cool. But the rest of this we're going to use to cook Emma Chamberlain food. So tune in for that. And some joke. cheesy, no cheese popcorn. Yeah, she's going back for the popcorn. So that tells you what was the best item. Donut. <laughs> The donut, not the popcorn. Loki, that home is good. This is like their homemade pesto, so watch our Emma Chamberlain video to see if they make more homemade good things. Let's give a review of the store. The store is dope. Like the actual like size is like small, but not too small. Like I just, I hate like a huge grocery store. It's like ridiculous. It takes forever, in my opinion, to grocery shop. It takes like twice as long as normal. And they had just like a bunch of really cool things that like you don't see at a regular grocery store. So I really liked that. Like healthy tampons. Yeah. And they had like all the ready-made food, which was just like really nice when you're like, you know, a college kid and you need that. The thing what I did want to talk about is the service was really nice. Like several people came up and asked us if we need help. Like that never happens to me. But when they asked if you need help, they were like actually offering to help. They weren't like just doing it because they yeah. had to. They weren't just saying it like at Menards. Do you need help? And they would say yes and they walk away. <laughs> no, I'm good. Like good. <laughs> they were like, oh darn. They but the guy who like checked us out was like the nicest person ever. I was surprised, like he talked to us really friendly. Like we were and best friends. You can like get a membership there and get like discounts. So that was cool. If I lived here, I would definitely get that. Yeah. Is there I'll any more, more for the review? There. Jess is gonna go there, she said, on her way home from class and get lunch. <laughs> and they had like even tofu chicken nuggets and stuff ready made. Like they had some dope stuff. So if you yeah. want us to go back there, let us know because I didn't want to buy like a million things if it wasn't interesting. But if y'all want to see the new Pioneer co-op stuff, let us know because I will go buy those tofu chicken nuggets because they look so really good. Because <laughs> they had a bunch of this kind of stuff, like a bunch of ready-made food. All right. That's really pretty in there too. It's like paint. It's like designed nice. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment to see some hummus. <laughs> Apparently Jess wants me to make the hummus. No, I want the lasagna. Okay, she wants the lasagna, so make sure you vote lasagna, not hummus for Jess. So that way she can ship it to me in bulk. <laughs> yeah, because it's all about Jess. Yeah, yeah, I would eat that every day for dinner. But make sure you guys subscribe for some more chaotic content from us so we can keep producing videos for you guys. I'd hate to quit now.